The Meg is about to be seen in theaters, and just to get you ready for it, we will talk about the movie and real life details about this gigantic sea monster. We will take a look at its origins, its life cycle, and everything that makes it a deadly predator, including its enemies in the ocean. So let's get into it. So starting with the origins and size, in real life. The Megalodon, or scientifically called the Otodos Megalodon, is an extinct species of mackerel shark that lived approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. It was once thought to be related to the great white shark but is now classified in the extinct family Otodon today. Despite being one of the largest predators ever, its appearance and maximum size remains uncertain. Estimates suggest that the Megalodon could reach up to 20.3 meters or 67 feet in length and weigh as much as 103 metric tons or 114 short tons. Their teeth were thick and robust and are the only fossil remains of it and they were designed for capturing prey and breaking bones. In the film, the Megalodon is awakened from its presumed extinction due to a hidden ecosystem beneath a thermocline layer in the ocean, allowing it to survive and grow to immense proportions. It was discovered in the Marianas Trench, technically below the ocean floor. The Megalodon is portrayed as a gigantic and aggressive species of shark believed to be extinct for millions of years, but in the present times, it seems that there are quite a number of them still alive. Two that were seen in the first movie and four more that will be seen in the sequel. The mechs in the movie range from being 60 to 70 feet or 18 to 21 meters as in the smallest specimen to an estimate 55 meters or 180 feet for the biggest one in the second flick. Now let's go to its growth and life cycle. In the real life, the reproduction cycle of the Megalodon shark is believed to have involved live birth, similar to modern day sharks. They likely gave birth to live young called pups instead of laying eggs. Megalodon use warm water coastal environments with abundant food and protection from predators as nursery areas to birth their young. But the infant Megalodons were estimated to be around 3.5 meters or 11 feet in length at their smallest. They were vulnerable to predation by other shark species though, such as the great hammerhead shark and the snaggletooth shark. But as they become adults, no other marine animal dares to come near it well, nearly all, except for one that we will tell you later. The movie does not show the birth or early life stages of the Megalodon. It is presumed that like the modern day sharks, the Megalodon would have hatched from eggs laid by its mother in a safe and hidden location. Or also like other species of sharks, it would have given birth to life young which hatched inside the mother's womb. This is evident with the baby Meg being seen at the end of the first movie, escaping from the body of the mother after it was devoured by other sharks. As an adult, the Megalodon appears to be massive, a massive creature, estimated to be over 100 feet or 30 meters in length, bigger than anything else. So what about its habitat? This shark had a widespread distribution with fossils found in Europe, Africa, the Americas and Australia, primarily in subtropical to temperate latitudes. It could tolerate temperatures ranging from 1 degrees to 24 degrees Celsius or 34 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit due to its mesothermy which allowed it to maintain a higher body temperature than the surrounding water the megalodon occupied various marine environments including shallow coastal waters coastal upwelling areas lagoons sandy littorals and deep offshore waters its lifestyle was transient with adults mainly inhabiting offshore regions and potentially moving between coastal and oceanic waters at different stages of their life cycle mainly in the reproductive stage going to the shallower areas. But in the movie The Meg, the habitat of the Megalodon shark is primarily set in the deep ocean waters, particularly in the unexplored depths of the Marianas Trench. The Marianas Trench is one of the deepest parts of the world's oceans, and in the movie it is depicted as an ancient and hidden ecosystem teeming with undiscovered marine life, including prehistoric Megalodon sharks, krakens, and other species. The Megalodon is believed to have survived in this remote and dark environment far away from human civilization for millions of years. And as the plot progresses, the Megalodon escapes from its hidden habitat, possibly due to human activities or other factors, and the sharks begin to venture into the accessible waters, posing a significant threat to the characters and nearby coastal areas, asserting their dominance all over the ocean, including the bays, the coasts, the beaches, and the offshore regions. And lastly, let's talk about its competitors. The Megalodon coexisted with other apex predators including macroraptoral sperm whales. Some of these whales like the Leviathan Melville reached gigantic sizes estimated between 13.5 to 17.5 meters or 44 to 57 feet. 
around the same size of the Meg. By the late Miocene epoch, around 11 million years ago, macroraptoral whales experienced a decline in abundance and diversity. Other species like the Orsinus citoniensis, the fossil killer whale, possibly filled their ecological niche in the Pliocene, and its role as a pack predator targeting prey larger than itself, although disputed, is quite reasonable. Yet the Megalodon's presence may have led to some competitive exclusion, with other large shark species avoiding regions it inhabits by sticking to colder waters. So here we can see that the extinct killer whales, the Leviathan melville, and even other large shark species were its competitors, killing each other at different stages of their life cycle, and it also depends whether the shark or the other species were larger in size. This was a very competitive space, and it's the survival of the fittest. As for the movie, there were no signs of anything that can touch or feed on a megalodon shark well, in the first movie, except for another specimen of its own species, like when we saw the bigger one consume the first meg that was captured by the boat. However, in the sequel, we will get a chance to see sea monster fights between two species, the meg and a cephalopod giant that we shall call the kraken. It is unclear as to how the kraken came to be or what part of the food chain it holds in the Marianas Trench, but in the coastal waters, it will go face to face with the giant shark. It could theoretically kill a meg if the kraken wraps its body around the shark and suffocates it by sinking to the ocean floor, thereby depriving the meg of oxygen since shark gills only work when the animal is moving around. So this is the movie competitor of the megalodon shark. Anyway, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Take care, fam.